Hi guys, so recently I used this Iblosad press tool for a bathroom remodel project and initially it worked well, but then because these jaws here are not made precisely, the joint started leaking in about a week. So here's the problematic joint. That copper press 90 degree elbow is dripping water as you can see. I just installed it about a week ago and then closed up the drywall and finished the rest of the project. And then I discovered water on the floor. I took a look inside the vanity and sure enough, that joint is dripping water and needs to be cut out and replaced, which is a huge hassle. There's only one drip every few seconds, but nevertheless, it's still a leak that needs to be addressed. So here's the leaking fitting after being cut out. It turns out that this press tool only put marks on one side of the O-ring. It's supposed to have a press mark here and here, but it only pressed this side of the O-ring because the jaw is not made right. So the mark here ended up being way off here, so it did not end up pressing the fitting. Only this area got pressed. And the O-ring itself did not get pressed correctly, and that led to a leak. Let me show you what a proper press fitting is supposed to look like. Here are some properly made press fittings on this water main. So you can see there's a hexagonal shape to the pipe, and looking at the coupling, there's a press mark here and a press mark here. Whereas that cheap Ibosad tool only put this mark. And the O-rings area, which is that bulge, is pressed smoothly, whereas the Ibosad had a big tail coming out there, which means it probably over-squeezed the O-ring, but didn't squeeze this area enough because, again, the jaws are imprecisely made. So here I've sawed apart the defective joint, and looking at it, you can see that here's the piece of copper pipe inside. There were only press marks right on that end, no press marks here, whereas it's supposed to put press marks both on this side and that side of the O-ring. This only did one side. O-ring seems to be fine. It's not damaged or anything, but yeah, clearly there's a serious design flaw with the jaws on this press machine, so I would not recommend it at all. Instead, I would recommend just learning to solder, hiring a plumber, or renting a real press tool for about $100. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay away from this tool unless you want to destroy your house. So hope you guys like this video, and see you all next time.